Um, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this next story, but I did want to mention it. Um, we have a new uh, report which indicates that briefing Donald Trump was the most difficult of any president that the CIA has had to brief. Now, anecdotally, remember that we learned that the uh, presidential daily briefing under Trump was reduced to one page. Half the page was an image or a chart, and then there were like two or three bullet points. And check this is so funny. Um, Business Insider reports. Briefing Donald Trump as he prepared to enter the White House was more difficult than briefing any other incoming president, a book published by the CIA said. The publication Getting to Know the President by John Helgerson, a former intelligence officer, charted different presidents' interactions with intelligence agencies. In it, Helgerson wrote for the intel community, the Trump transition was far and away the most difficult in its historical experience with briefing new presidents. Helgerson's book was published by the CIA for U.S. officials. The CIA says in the book that its contents are the authors and do not reflect the position of the CIA. OK, yeah, we understand that. Helgerson wrote the only comparable experience to Trump's transition was that of Nixon. Quote, the only and imperfect analog was the Nixon transition, he said, after Nixon effectively declined to work with the intelligence community and instead got his information through an intermediary. Trump was like Nixon, suspicious and insecure about the intelligence process, but unlike Nixon in the way he reacted. Rather than shut the inter- intelligence community out, Trump engaged with it, but attacked it publicly. Helgerson's new book, uh, Helgerson's book was first published in 96. It has been updated with each new president. So imagine expert comes in and explains something. Trump interrupts you. Trump corrects you. Trump asserts he knows more and you were wrong. Trump will publicly then attack your institution. Sometimes he will even attack individuals from the intelligence community. I was reading about this and I saw a good comment um, written by just just a random commenter summarizing Trump as, quote, an incurious anti-intellectual narcissist, incapable or unwilling to learn information necessary to do the job so high on himself that he, quote, knows more than the generals and only listens to those who manage to compliment him enough, a tactic several foreign leaders employed to get him to pay attention for half a second. A uh, very apt summary, and he might win again. Tens of millions of people want the guy back, and that's really what should be scaring us right now. One of our sponsors is called Privacy. Privacy is a totally free service that I've been using for years. Privacy lets me create virtual payment cards with one click, and when I use the virtual card, the money is taken out of my bank account. You can create multiple cards, delete them, freeze them, set a spending limit on them. Let's say I'm signing up for a free trial and it requires a credit card. Privacy will autofill a virtual card number. And then after signing up, I can delete that virtual card. So I know I'm not going to be charged again. Something really useful and very practical. Or let's say I'm ordering food over the phone, but I left my wallet somewhere. I don't have my real credit card on me. I can use a virtual card on my privacy mobile app. But really, the best part is you're not out there exposing your real credit card number. So you're not as susceptible to data breaches and identity theft. Privacy is a totally free service and you'll get five bucks to spend when you go to privacy.com slash Pacman. The link is right underneath this video.